Hello guys, in this video we're gonna talk about the built-in class method decorator in Python. So without any delay, let's get started. So let's take the very simple example of a student class in which we are passing the name, age and roll number while we are instantiating the class object and then we are setting the name, age and roll number as the attributes of that given class object. So this is a very simple class and if I just create a very simple um, object out of it like this right so I get a very simple student object right and I can simply get the name so now this is the thing and now if I just give you some data like this like I have a list of dictionaries in which each dictionary represents the data of a single student and now the task is to convert this list of dictionaries into a list of student objects so that is our task and a very concise and organized way of achieving this by defining a function inside the class itself is to use the class method decorator so let us see how it will help us so the class method decorator has the property that um, the function in which the function that it is decorating it will provide you the first argument as the class itself so basically CLS here means the class student so the reference to my class student is being passed as the first argument automatically so CLS is uh, the class student and after that I will be passing the data so this is my um, function uh, this is this is the function name and then the arguments that are going to be passed and now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna define an empty list students and then for row in data so basically I'll be picking up um, each dictionary from this one by one and then in that I'll be creating a new student object like this so I'll be just using the CLS thing here CLS here simply means my class student okay so CLS in which I'll be passing um, row name row age row roll number so in this way my student object will get created and then I'll be do I'll be doing students dot append um, student so I'll be putting it into the list of the student object and finally return that list so this is my very simple student class definition which has a very special function called from dicts which takes a list of dictionaries and input as input and then converts it and returns you a list of student objects so let us try it out um, Students student is equal to student dot from dict so as you can notice here that I am using this particular function as a method of my class only so student from dot from dict I'm not creating a new class object and then using this function as a method of that class object I'm simply directly referring this um, method as a uh, function of my class itself so student dot from dict in which I'll be passing the entire data and now okay so let me just execute this and now I get all the students look at that I get the list of the student objects if I just try to check student 0 dot name I get the name of the first student right in this similarly student one dot name I get the next name so I am able to create a list of student objects by passing a list of um, student dictionaries and then getting the output like that okay and what has helped me helped me in doing that is the class method decorator which does the decoration by providing the first argument as your um, class itself which is calling this particular function so CLS becomes equal to student and then I'm using it for instantiating my class object so this is how you do it and this is the main fundamental um, theory behind the class method and I hope the concept of class methods is clear if you still have any doubts you can put them in the comment section below so that's it from this video thanks for watching